under condition 1 which is at x equals 1 at the roller support deflection there is 0 so it gives us this first equation then for the second boundary condition that is at x equals to 11 and that is that point x equals 11 the deflection there is also 0 so substitu substituting values there and the deflection equations there it would give us this one now so simplifying the second equation so this would be negative 25 over 3 times 11 cube plus 123.75 over 6 times 10 cube minus 25 over 3 times 7.5 cube minus 25 over 24 times 5 to the 4th okay so that gives us so our second equation becomes um, 0 equals 16100 over 3 plus 11 c1 plus c2 okay then for the first equation that would be i'll just copy the first equation so that would be negative or zero equals negative 25 over 3 plus 1c1 plus c2 so we have two equations with two unknowns c1 and c2 solving simultaneous equations so i could just subtract this equation with this equation so this would be c2 minus c2 is zero 11c1 minus c1 would be plus 10c1 and this would be 0 equals 16100 over 3 minus minus so that's plus 25 over 3 okay so that would be uh, 5375 okay so from this one um, c1 it would give uh, c1 equals 5375 divided by 10 so negative 537.5 so that would be our c1 then therefore our c2 substituting that uh, in this equation in equation 1 or in, in equation 2 it would give us c2 equals uh, uh, minus 25 over 3 so for this case c1 minus 25 over 3 then you transfer it to the other side c2 becomes uh, 32 75 over over 6 okay now so with the c1 and c2 substituted in the these equations it would give us the particular uh, equations now our uh, objective for for this uh, primary structure is to solve for that delta bo and uh, theta ao okay so for for delta bo that is actually the deflection at x equals uh, what is x there um 516 okay so substituting this in the deflection equation over here so let us substitute so that would be e i um delta b o is equal to negative 25 over 3 times 6 cube okay plus 123.75 over 6 6 minus 1 is 5 cube minus 25 over 3 6 minus 3.5 is um, 2.5 cube okay then minus 25 over 24 6 minus 6 is just 0 so this would just be 0 plus c1 c1 is 537.5 times 
times x is 6, 10 plus C2, plus C2 is 32.75 over 6. Okay, so let us simplify this one. Calculate everything. So that would be negative 25 over 3 times 6 cube. Okay, then plus 123.75 over 6 times 5 cubed minus 25 over 3 times 2.5 cubed then minus 537.5 times 6 plus 32.75 over 6 so that gives us negative 81.25 over 4 so we have the EI, put it there, so that would be delta BO. Okay, now how about for uh, theta AD? So how do you solve for theta, theta AD? So for theta AD, that would be the slope at x equals, at this point, so x there is 11 x 11 so substitute this boundary condition in the slope equation so this becomes ei uh, theta a o okay is equal to okay so negative 25 x is 11 square then we have plus 20 123.75 over 2 11 minus 1 is 10 square. Okay, then minus 50 over 2 is 25. 10 minus 3.5 is, uh, sorry, 11. 11 minus 3.5 is 7.5. 7.5 square minus 25 over 6. Um, 11 minus 6 is 5 cubed. Then plus C1, and C1 is negative 537.5. So doing our calculation, so we have um, negative 25 times 11 square plus 123.75 over 2 times 10 square minus 25 times 7.5 square, okay, minus 25 over 6 times 5 cube minus 5 37.5 okay so we got um, 8375 over 12 the EI is there so that would be our theta AO okay so from from this solution we were able to solve for delta BO and theta AO. So this is for the primary structure. Okay, our next uh, our next step would be analyzing this redundant structure. So let's start with the redundant structure MA. So this would be the uh, sorry uh, MA. Okay, so let me solve it here separately. So solving solving the solving the redundant structure. Solving redundant okay, structure MA. Okay, so this one. So I'll just copy it. Okay, so hinge, then we have roller, okay, so this is 10 meters, this is 1 meter, okay, so due to that unit moment over here, okay, so this will deflect like this, okay, so this would be FBA, that is the deflection at point B due to the unit load of 1 kilonewton meter over here, and this would be the slope theta or f f a a that is the slope at a due to the unit 
couple of 1 kN meter at point A. Okay, so we can solve for this FAA and FBA by any of the classical method also. So, FAA and FBA. So, let me solve this using, uh, again, double integration method. So, I need to solve first for the reactions. Okay, 1 kN meter, so this has to be compensated with this. So, that's uh, 1 over 10 or that's 0.1. Okay, so 1 over 10 is actually 0.1. Okay, downward. So, by summing up forces vertical, this would be vertical. And this is also 0.1. So, I will consider my origin again here. And my x ranges from 0 to 11. 0 to 11. So, I'm, I'll be considering the right segment. So, if I write the moment equation e i y double prime and that would be this one point one point one and uh, the distance would be x minus one so x minus one okay so that's the distance and that is clockwise so that's negative so that is the moment equation okay so e i y prime that's the slope that's negative point one x minus 1 square over 2 plus c1 then the um, uh, deflection equation becomes negative point 1 x minus 1 cube over 6 plus c1 of x plus c2 so what would be our boundary condition here so at x equals 1 the deflection there is 0 Okay, so substituting it here, so that would be 0 equals uh, x equals 1, x equals 1, this would be 0, so neglect about this one, so that would be c1 times 1 plus c2. So that would be our first equation. How about the second boundary condition? That would be at this hinge, and that is x equals 11, deflection the there is also equal to zero okay so substituting in this equation that would be zero is equal to 11 so point negative point one over six 11 minus one is 10 cube plus c1 is uh, 11 11 c1 plus c2 okay so rewriting this uh, equation so so, so the first equation, the, uh, based from the first boundary condition, I could rewrite that as uh, C1 is equal to the negative of C2. Okay? Then substitute that in the second equation. Okay, so this would be 0 equals, this one is negative 0.1 over 6 um, times 10 to the 3. Okay, so that is actually uh, negative 50 over 3, okay, plus 11 C1, C1 is negative of C2, plus C2. So from there, I could solve for C2, and that is um, negative 11 plus 1. So that is the coefficient for C2. Then if I transfer it to the right side, so that would be 10. And that would be uh, negative, 50, negative 50 over 3 um, divided by that coefficient. So therefore that would be uh, over 30. Negative 50 over uh, 30 okay so at the 50 over 3 divided by 10 so that's 25 over sorry 10 30 negative 50 over 3 divided by 10 right 
So that's negative 5 thirds. Okay, so that's C2 and C1. Uh, so C2, so therefore C1 would be the negative of C2 and that would be positive 5 thirds. Okay, so to solve for FBA, to solve for FBA, that is the deflection at x equals, uh, this is at, how much is this? Um, 6 meters. Okay, so 6 meters. So, substituting this in the deflection equation, that would be uh, E I Y F B A is equal to um, negative 0.1 over 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 cube plus C1 plus C1 is 5 thirds. 5 thirds and X is 6. Then plus C2 and C2 is negative 5 thirds. Okay, so therefore our FBA here is equal to negative point one negative point one over six times five cube plus five over three times six minus five over three so we got twenty five over four ei so that is f b a okay how about f a a for f a a that would be the slope at x equals 11 okay so substituting it here in the slope equation so that would be e i y e i y prime y prime is f a a is equal to uh, negative point 0.1 over 2 x is 11 11 minus 1 is 10 square plus c1 and c1 is 5 over 3 so from there f a a is actually equal to negative point 0.1 over 2 okay over 2 times 10 square plus 5 over 3 so we got negative 10 over 3 ei so that is our faa for the redundant structure of ma okay now, next would be for the redundant RB. Okay, so here it is. For redundant structure RB, so I just copied this one with the 1 kN over there. Okay, so due to the 1 kN, so there will be reactions of 0.5 and 0.5 over here. And causing the deflection FBB here and the slope FAB, FAB there. So these are the unknowns. Again, using double integration with x ranges from 0 to 11, origin is on the right side. So my uh, EIY double prime equation would be 0.5 negative of x minus 1. Okay? Then, this one also, plus 1 unit load, and the distance is x minus 6. Okay? So x minus 6. Okay, now, so our EIY Y prime is equal to 0.5 X minus 1 square over 2 plus X minus 6 square over 2 plus the constant of integration C1. And for the deflection equation, that would be negative 0.5 X minus 1 cube over 6 plus x minus 6 um, cube over 6 plus c1 of x plus c2 okay again our boundary condition here is that x equals 1 deflection there is 0 so it will uh, uh, give us substituting it here it would be 0 1 so this would be 0 no? So, uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. This would be negative, so it would be neglected. So, what is left is the C1. C1 times 1 
plus C2. So, call it as our first equation. And the second boundary condition is that x equals 11, that is at this point. The deflection there is also 0. No? Because that's a hinge support. So, substituting this in the deflection equation, it gives us 0. Okay. So, that's negative 0.5 over 6 times 11 minus 1 is 10 cube plus 11 minus 6 is 5 5 uh, cube over 6 okay then plus c1 of x c1 of x is 11 plus c2 okay so but from this equation I could uh, the first equation say this is the second equation for the first equation I could rewrite this as C1 is just the negative of C2 ok so that is the first equation substituting that equation 1 in the equation 2 <coughs> that becomes uh, let me simplify this first <coughs> a negative 0.5 over 6 times 10 cube okay plus 5 cube over 6 so okay so this becomes a uh, 0 is equal to negative 125 over 2 plus 11 c1 and c1 is negative of c2 plus c2 so from there, I could solve for C2. Okay. So that's a negative divided by 10. Um, negative, negative, uh, negative 10. So that would be negative 25 over 4. Therefore, C1 is the negative of C2 that would be positive 25 over 4. Okay, so those are the constants of integration. So, to solve for these unknowns, let's start with, say, FBB. So, for FBB, ito yun. So, that would be the deflection. Deflection at x equals um, 6. So, substitute it in the deflection equation. So, that would be EI y is the fbb equals uh, this one so negative 0 0.5 over 6 x 6 minus 1 is 5 cube plus 6 minus 6 is 0 so 0 lang yan plus c1 c1 is 25 over 4 c1 times x is 6 plus c2 c2 is negative 25 over 4. So therefore our FBB is just equal to negative 0.5 over 6 times 5 cube okay, plus 25 over 4 times 6 minus 25 over 4. So we got 125 over 6 EI. So this is FBB. Now, what about for FAB? FAB. So, for FAB, that would be the slope, right? The slope at A. And at that point A, X is equal to 11. Okay, so substituting this in the slope equation here, so that would be EI, Y prime is FAB, equals, this one, negative 0.5 over 2, 11 minus 1 is 10 square plus again 11 minus 6 is 5 5 square over 2 okay plus c1 and c1 is 25 over 4 so from here i could have f a b equals negative 0.5 over 2 times 10 square plus 5 square over 2 plus 25 over 4 so we got negative 25 over 4 EI okay 
So those are the uh, deflections and slope at the redundant structures. Okay, so we're going to uh, substitute all of this here. Okay, so so let me substitute values, substitute values. Okay, so let's start with the first equation. Okay, for the compatibility, so in the compatibility equations. <coughs> Excuse. Okay, so our first equation is here. So that would be um, delta BO plus MA FBA plus RA FBB should be equal to zero. <coughs> okay, so I'll be collecting those values there. Delta BO is here. So we got negative 8125 over 4 EI. Okay, plus <coughs> MA, that's the unknown. FBA, FBA is this, 25. 25 over 4 EI. Plus RA, FBB, FBB is this one, 125 over 6. And should be equal to 0. Okay? So this is our first compatibility equation. <clears throat> now, what about for our second compatibility equation? So, ito yun. So, this one. Okay, so this one is, say, uh, delta AO plus MA FAA plus RB FAB. Should be equal to zero. Okay, so substituting values. So from the primary structure, delta AO is 8375 over 12 EI. So here, then for the redundant MA, okay, plus MA, FAA is this one, negative 10, okay, over 3 EI, then plus RB times FAB is this one, negative 25 over 4 EI, should be equal to zero so this would be the summary okay so as you can see we have now two unknowns ma and ra ma and r sorry this should be r wait rb sorry this should be rb rb this is rb this is rb so we have two unknowns no ma rb ma rb two unknowns with two equations so we'll just have to solve simultaneous equations uh, to solve for the for the reactions so so how do you solve simultaneous equations uh, we could just simplify this one so let's say okay so let me Uh, 125 over 6 divided by 25 over 4 so 10 over 3 is that correct so 125 over 6 divided with 25 over 4 so this would be the factor 10 over 3. So if I multiply everything this one with 10 over 3. So 25 over 4 times 10 over 3. Okay, so, so this becomes what? 
8375 over 12 8375 over 12 times 10 over 3 so it becomes 41875 over 18 okay then this would be minus so 10 over 3 times 10 over 3 so that would be 100 100 over 9 EI of MA then for this case it would be negative 25 over 4 times 10 over 3 it would be again negative 25 over 4 times 10 over 3 it would be negative 20, 125 over 6 EI of RB equal 0 okay so this equation becomes this one then just copy the first equation I'll just copy it negative 8125 over 4 EI um, plus we have 25 over 4 EI MA then plus 125 over 6 EI of RB equal 0 so same uh, so add ko lang silang dalawa para makancel na to so what happens is 41875 41875 over 18 okay minus 8125 over 4 so i got 10625 over 36ei 10625 36ei then this one negative 100 over 9 over 9 plus 25 over 4 so it becomes negative 175 over 36 EI of MA equals 0 so therefore our MA is now equal to this divided by this 10625 divided by 36 divided by 175 over 36 is that correct uh, so I'll find this happen for sure so that would be our MA 425 over 7 Okay, so that is kilonewton meter or that's 60.714285 kilonewton meter so that's the reaction at moment A so substituting this value of MA in this one first or second equation either of the two let's say here um, 6 say MA times 25 over 4 then minus 81 81 25 over 4 so you transfer it to the right side times negative 1 then divide it with this so divided by 125 over 6 so our RB becomes 555 over 7 okay so that's a um, kilo newtons or that is 79.2857 kilo newtons okay so that's it so after solving for this moment at a reaction at b so going back to the original uh, beam knowing the moment knowing the reaction at B so by statics you could solve for RA and solve for RD so
by statics so you could solve summation of say uh, moment kasi A equal to 0 so you could solve for RD then if you sum forces vertical equal to 0 you could solve naman for RA and that would be our final answers okay so I hope you you learn something from this long uh, solution so this would be the solution for this problem. Uh, method of